after winter storm is working its way up the east coast of the United States, millions of people are dealing with snow and ice. There are winter storm warnings posted in 18 states, stretching from Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia in the south, all the way up north to the state of Maine. Hundreds of flights have already been canceled, and for many, the worst is yet to come. CCTV's Jim Spellman joins us live from Washington, D.C., where the first flakes have already started to fall. Mike, it's just starting to snow here in Washington, D.C., but there's much more to come. 12 to 25 centimeters of snow here in the Washington, D.C. area. Crews are already out on the road. This is the main tool that they're using here as the snow starts to come down. This is rock salt. They'll spread this on the road. The idea is to melt the snow as it comes and hopefully before ice can even form. Now here from the Washington area north to the New York City area and into the New England section of the United States, they feel pretty confident that they can deal with a storm like this. But in southern states where it's warmer usually and they're not used to dealing with storms like this, they simply don't have the manpower, the experience or the equipment needed to deal with such a big storm. Take a look. The ice covering the newspaper says as much as the headline. Brace yourself for another storm. A massive winter weather system is making its way up the east coast of the United States, pounding the usually mild American south with snow and ice. Most of the main roads have been salted and pre-treated. It's also the back roads that we're worried about. Forcing local and state governments unaccustomed to such conditions to scramble, hoping to avoid another situation like two weeks ago, when two and a half inches of snow brought Atlanta to its knees. Well, I can tell you, for me personally, um, I've done this a lot of years, and I never won in Atlanta, um, in Charlotte. The storm has already grounded thousands of flights. Those who have ventured out are meeting conditions like this on foot and like this behind the wheel, leading authorities to warn drivers to stay off the roads. Please hunker down, stay home. This is not the time to get out. We want to keep everyone off the roads. They are only going to get worse as the day goes on. At a Senate hearing in Washington, a U.S. Homeland Security official gave lawmakers a bleak forecast. Just as terrorist attacks threaten our communities, extreme weather disrupts the security of our nation. Extreme weather strains our resources, diverts attention from counterterrorism efforts, serves as a threat multiplier that aggravates stressors both at home and abroad. But none of that was on the minds of those out enjoying a rare southern snow day. I came out here because I don't want to be in the house. And it's kind of fun being out here when you get to sled down all day. Mike, it's rush hour here in Washington, D.C. People are trying to get home. Schools are already closing here in this area. That'll be the same story up and down the east coast of the United States of America here. It's been some very serious ramifications, these storms already. Nine people dead in traffic accidents. Why? That's why those crews will be out here trying to keep the road safe. About 350,000 homes already are without power. Thousands of airplane flights have been canceled in the last six weeks because of weather alone, Mike. 52,000 flights have been canceled in the United States. Back to you. Jim Spellman live where the snow is coming down a little harder than when he first started.